Starting the day off at the machine shop, got the sleeved block back here and the pistons and then over there is the crank from last night. Uh, so I need to get this thing bored to match the pistons and then I'm just gonna have the crank uh, checked and polished, make sure it's not bent or anything like that. And then once we get that stuff back, probably tomorrow, we'll be ready to start putting the bottom end together. And as I pulled up, I noticed we had a little friend hanging out over here. Check it out guys, found Jimmy again. Over here hanging out at the machine shop. What's up dude? Ready to do some machining? So I'm back at the shop right now. Got everything dropped off for the MR2's engine. Uh, Emilio's gonna be busy for a few days, so my boy Jimmy is uh, gonna step in for him. We've been hanging out. Been a long time since I've seen Jimmy. But something I've always wanted to do is see how much the Doom Buggy is making on the dyno. So today, we are going to do just that. We're going to put this thing onto the dyno, and I wanna see how much power it is making. And then we have a uh, special, oh, Jimmy! No, he flew away. Oh, come back, Jimmy, come back. Oh my gosh, I almost caught him. Jimmy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Jimmy? You gotta warn me before you do those things. Jeez, he almost came back though. That was almost sick. But anyways, uh, we're gonna get the razzle dazzle on the dyno and I have something that just came in for this thing that is going to be awesome. So we are going to dyno it how it is and then we're gonna make some changes to this thing. We're gonna try to tune it up a little bit and we have some stuff that actually might help this thing make some more power by the end of the day. So. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the dyno and see what she's making. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Hey, look what I found. Right? Brent. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. <laughs> look at him, he came to visit. Dude, it's been a minute. He was at the machine shop. That's awesome. And he wanted to hang out, so I brought him along. That's cool, I haven't seen Jimmy in a minute. Straight. This is gonna be wide. fun. <laughs> it's so wide. So wide, it's hanging off a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Looks good. Am I good? It looks, yeah, it looks pretty equal, so it should be fine. Uh, this on, side yeah. is already chalked. I just gotta chalk the other side. And then we're good to go. Pile it up on it. Yep. There you go. Cool. Strap her down and rip. All right, got the razzle dazzle strap down. What do you think it's gonna do, stock motor? Stock um, ECU. 220. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> 220 is my guess. That's so, pretty good though. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. So it's on the stock uh, J35, and we're just gonna see what it does, do a couple pulls, and then we have something to uh, plug into. <laughs> Jimmy's crawling on my neck. But we have something to plug into it and uh, tune on her a little more after that because right now we don't have a laptop or nothing plugged in because it's just on stock computer. yeah stock computer there's nothing you can do but we will be changing that after a couple pulls <laughs> 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 how fast this thing oh it only goes to just over 85 miles an hour about 87 ish miles an hour oh, I didn't have any RPM. yeah it only went to 87 miles an hour that's about as fast as it goes that's all she has let's do it again yeah, let's do one more
I didn't expect it to be making that much, honestly. I didn't either. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. No wonder it's so fast. 244 at the wheels. I mean, this thing does rip. Yeah, it feels good. It sounds good. Dude, it's gonna be so awesome with the turbo. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> so completely stock. She is at 244. It's running good now because yep. we had to go through the fuel system and everything. It's obviously running clean. Run sounds way. good. Yeah. So now we are going to uh, plug in our little upgrade we just got for this yeah. thing. So the ECU on the Razzle Dazzle is inside this little box that's in the center. This plate was kind of stuck on there pretty good because it had like this rubber that sealed it all up and it just had these like self-tapping screws that held it in there. Took all those out, just kind of had to shimmy this plate down and out. It's all rusted up and stuff. It even looked like there was probably some moisture down in there because there's a whole bunch of rust. But it looks like the ECU and everything is in pretty good shape. But we are going to be taking this guy out and we have a fresh plug and play unit to replace that one. We can do some tuning. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get that thing out of there and we'll show you guys what we got. I want to see if I can make any power. Yeah, if you can make some, if more, I can power, make some more power. power, that'd be sweet. I did not expect it to I make need that it, much. But it's cool. That's good. 240 on the stock J series. Sweet. She's strong. So we just got the other ECU out and there's this extra plug that they added. You can see they like hot glued all around it, but this plug might control like the fuel pump and yeah. stuff like that. So we might actually have to kind of replicate this plug onto uh our new unit, but we'll get to that in a minute. So what we got right here for the Razzle Dazzle is a AEM Series 2 ECU. This is the same one that we had in the MR2 in Honduru, and we will be able to fully tune the Doom Buggy with this guy. So we do plan on putting a turbo kit on this thing soon, and obviously we're gonna need a way to tune it. So AEM has the solution for that. And we got our brand new box. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy plugged in and see what we need to do to make it work. We are gonna have to load up a base tune into it just to get it started because these don't come with any tunes on them whatsoever. And uh, while I was on the topic of what we got from AEM, I was gonna go ahead and show that they also just sent us a couple gauge packages as well. I think this is like an oil pressure and boost gauge because I wanna throw these on there once we turbo it, but these will be for later. But we are going to be installing the Series 2 ECU for today. So big upgrade for the Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, we got a diagram that'll tell us what's what is what. Yeah. We'll go ahead and start plugging her in, Kyle. The main reason I want this on the Razzle Dazzle, especially with the turbo kit, is for some gnarly two-step. I don't even care about the power game as much. I just want it to sound sick. <laughs> what a ricer. Put the nitrous bottle away, Jamie. Nope. <laughs> going down. We don't need a James over here. We have a Jamie. <laughs> it's even worse. Yeah. So we got the Series 2 ECU installed. All we had to do was take one of these wires from this plug that had the 4 on it and pin it to A15, which is the uh, fuel pump output on the ECU because without that, the fuel pump wouldn't kick on. But we got that plugged in, ready to go. So now when you hit the switch, you can hear the pump come on. So pump's going and uh, we loaded a tune up into it. And this is actually a 260 horse all motor yep. tune. Yep, the in a Civic. The Brent did on another all motor J series Civic, so we're just gonna try that out. Might as well. See how she does. All right, let's start. Excited. Jimmy. Jimmy. Let's see if Brent can make more power than the 244. Now this is the first pull on the this tune. Like things it Think, moved around. Things might need to be changed. Yeah. Might let we're sure gonna try. Well if you can't do it, I'll let Jimmy hop on the laptop and well, he'll take I care of it. <laughs> excited for this ECU on here.
it? Oh, 243. Yeah, look at the back. We almost hit 100. We almost hit 100. Woo! Woo! Good start. So it's about the same power. It's, a, it's exactly the same power, but look, we were able to raise the rev limiter some more. We picked up a whole bunch of power on the back end right here. Look how much farther we can take it a mile an hour now. Before it didn't even hit 90, now we're almost at 100. So we picked up over 10 miles an hour. Hell yeah, 243. Got the verbal tune going, bro. I know, now she's spitting flames. Isn't she's cool? she's crackling and popping. She's crackling and popping. He's been he's been working on the verbal tunes. <laughs> again just under a hundred miles an hour same, same power same. Down at least that, we didn't we didn't, we didn't lose anything so that's what it makes that's just what she makes all motor at least right now without a wide band is like what I'm guessing at Hold on. yeah we, we don't have a wide, wide band, band or anything but I fixed speed tech and we got way more RPM. It must have only had a 5,000 limiter before. Yeah, we got way more RPM. We got way more RPM. Which means way more speed. Yeah, we'll be able to go a lot faster in each gear. Yeah, yeah we'll be able to race that quad again and give it a run for its money. <laughs> we do gotta get this shifter fixed though. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, it's third a little. Sucks. Oh, oh, a little too the... small. It's a good idea though. What? Little velocity stack. So that 5,000, do you think that was something to do with speed maybe or something? It was something in the factory ECU. Yeah, that's sure. what I mean because it's not, you can't shut off, oh, the speed's not there or yeah, anything right. like that. Something along those lines. But this was something great. in the stock ECU that this is like awesome. yeah. speed or something. <laughs> She's popping some flames, dude. And now she just <laughs> needs some boost. Yeah, just needs a little boost. Dude, that's sweet though. Oh, really? I, I love that ECU. I do too. It worked really good on these. Yep, so she made the same exact power as it was on the stock computer, but now we got a whole bunch more RPM. He had to clean up this little VTEC engagement spot right here, but that's cleaned up. So the power is exactly where it was, but we have a whole bunch more mile an hour. And now we have the ECU ready to go for when we want to give this thing some forced induction. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I mean, got it's, some big injectors and a pump. And fly. Let's go. If we make like another 100 horse, I think we'll be chilling with that. Oh my god. I mean, 350 to 400, this thing will be a ripper. Easy in this thing. This thing already makes, this thing's already really fast with 250, <laughs> so. It's just gonna get faster. Put one of our 35 hours on there with like eight pounds and yep. we'll be flying. Yeah, we're sort of garage idiots. There's a little setup next to 400 something. Yeah, like 420 yeah, around there, so right? And that's just a stock J. Yeah, traps 120. So something like that with when it doesn't weigh nothing. Yeah, this thing like probably weighs like 1,300 pounds. Yeah. We should scale it. I'm we, interested. We should scale it. We have scales. We have the technology. Oh, yeah. Now we know. She makes 240 NA. Got to name your first file as Razzle Dazzle. Yep. I got to name my first file Razzle Dazzle. That's awesome. Oh, well, now it's just going to be a series. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then it's going to be 240. Next time she's on here, it's gonna be making a little bit more than that. I hope so. Making some cool noises. 240's pretty good. Yeah, I was surprised. The whole power band looks awesome compared yeah. to what it was. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh yeah, I mean, even that will feel a lot better. Just, oh yeah, just cause it's running out the back instead of falling off and hitting a limiter. It like only it had like 5,000 yeah. before, and now it has a little over 7,000. Yeah, it's awesome. That's a lot. It's a ton. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy.
Well, it's been fun hanging out with you, Jimmy, but it's time for you to go back. There you go, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. All right, guys, getting out of here for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of the old Razzle Dazzle on the dyno. Huge shout out to AEM for the ECU. Things working awesome. And yeah, I'm really excited to get a treble kit put on this thing and turn her up a little bit more, get her ready for Glamis. So it's coming out good. We'll see you later, guys.